Hey everyone, uh, Zix from Skywind again. I'm just going to do a really quick follow-up on the tile set presentation. Um, there was a section on snapping, and it sort of talked about how you can get these different tile set pieces to snap, but I really didn't go into too much detail. Um, I'll show you a little trick on how to snap them. Uh, it all deals with the origin here. Uh, this is, again, specifically in Blender. Uh, I'll just show you how to sort of set these origins, make sure everything snaps, uh, and if everything snaps in here, everything should snap as a NIF uh, in Creation Kit. Okay, so right now I have like just a bunch of these pieces. Um, they currently snap as is. I have them snapping seamlessly, but uh, Let's say one of these was messed up, so I'm gonna move. Uh, let's use let's use this one. I'm gonna move this origin somewhere that wasn't where it was supposed to be. So it should be here, ideally. And if it's not snapping, then that means your origin's in the wrong place. So I'm gonna move it. Uh, I moved it, so now. Uh, Actually, it is snapping, but uh, let's do something like this, I guess. Okay, so now this piece definitely isn't snapping at all. It, it's just not going to work with the rest of your tile set. So how do you uh, fix that? So first, you want to make sure that a couple things are set. Uh, in your scene, so in your Blender scene, what you're going to want to do is go over to this tab down here, the Scene Properties tab in the bottom right in this menu. You're going to go to your Units tab, make sure it's in Metric because that's how Skyrim does its sort of conversion between uh, Metric and Skyrim units. So you're going to want to have it set to Metric, make sure the unit scale is 1, and then you're done in there, so you're good. In that tab. Uh, and then second thing you're going to want to do is go to your overlays up here. Uh, I think you can do that in any mode, really. Uh, but I'm in modeling mode right now. Uh, what you're going to want to do here is drop down, uh, make sure the scale is some multiple of 256. So mine is 100. Uh, 256 divided by 100, so 2.65, but it could be 25.6, it could be um, 256, it could be 512, just something, because that's sort of how Skyrim's units work. So you want to make sure this is good, your scale, you want to make sure your units are good, and then you want to make sure you have everything on the snap. So you want to go up here where the magnet is, uh, blue means it's turned on, of course, gray means it's turned off. Uh, you want to have an increment snap, so it's going to snap on increments of whatever your scale is, so 2.56 for me, it's going to snap 2.56 units every time I sort of move it in one direction. Uh, you want to make sure absolute grid snap is on, otherwise it just won't work. I don't know why. Uh, you sort of want to have these also. I don't really care about scale, but you want to have move and rotate, so that when you rotate it rotates on snap like it would in Creation Kit. And if you move or translate, it ro uh, uh, translates on the snap of 256, or 2.56, I said. So you want to make sure those things are set. Uh, okay, so we have two, well, these are the same piece, uh, two different pieces, and they're supposed to snap together, but they don't. So one thing uh, I like to do is make sure they snap before you like set your origin point. So Make sure all the verts snap. Uh, to do that, you want to go into edit mode, so hit tab, uh, select all your verts. And then the easiest way to do this, honestly, is just go to vertex snap. So you're going to want to snap the vertices together. And then that makes it so that there's no seams, more or less. Uh, and all I'm going to do, oops, I'm going to select everything with A. Then all I'm going to do is G to move. And I'm going to snap this bottom vert to the bottom vert of this one. So they're going to be smacked together. 
and then you can sort of zoom in. If you have a number pad on your uh, keyboard, it's the period on the number pad, or I think it's delete also on the numpad. It lets you zoom in really, really close to see if there's any micro seams, which honestly is one of the worst things to have happen. Like here's a micro seam right here. That's not great. That's wonderful. That means I have to fix that. Anyway, uh, you want to go in and make sure there's no micro seams. Uh, you don't really have to do this if it's super, super micro. You're not really going to see it too, too bad. But Oops. Hopefully it's not too bad. I'm gonna get rid of that piece, grab this one. So in this example, you know, if I were to vertex snap it here, ideally there should be no seams. Which is what you want. You want your tile set to snap perfectly. So I'm gonna ruin the snap again. Just for the sake of the example. So it's not snapping anymore. Uh, okay, so what you're going to want to do is let me move my origin so now the origin is off uh, in order to snap this piece to that piece please move the way I want you to <laughs> all you're going to do is sort of snap it to there and make sure you know, with vertex snap turned on it's working or snapping. And then uh, it's snapped, but the origin's in the wrong place. So if you go to move it at all, it's going to just remove it from the snap, which is a bad thing. So what we want to do is set the origin from this point. Uh, one trick that I like to do is um, I like to use the 3D cursor to make the origin go to where I want it to go. So uh, 3D cursor, oops, 3D cursor you can shift right click and it sort of places it, but it goes to like random spots which is really difficult to deal with. Like let's say I want it here, if I go to orthographic view I want it to go like here. Well that's not exactly, you know, right where I want it to be, it's kind of off. So one thing that I like to do is sort of go in with a vert, make sure the snap is turned on, and then sort of move the vert to where I want it to go, the origin. So I want the origin down here. Then I'm going to shift S and then put my cursor at the selected, which is my one vert. So now the cursor is at that vertice, and you can just undo a couple times to make sure your vert's back in the right place. And now that my 3D cursor is where I want my origin to go, you can just select your object, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. And it's going to set that origin right at that point on the snap. And we know it's on the snap because we had snapped grid turned on and we moved the vertice right to the snapping point. So if I just move it around, we can see that it's on the snap now, which is great. And same thing goes for like any other pieces. I'll just grab this one. Uh, just to go through it again, I'm going to ruin the snap here to make sure that, you know, the example is good. Uh, okay, so piece doesn't snap. I want it to snap to here. So all I'm going to do is go in, select every vert, turn on vertex snap, snap it to where I want it to go, make sure there are no micro seams as far as I can tell, there are none. Uh, and then from there, we turn back on increment snap, move one of the verts on the snap to where we want our origin to go. Our 3D cursor was already there, but uh, let's say it was over there. Uh, Shift S, cursor to selected, and then undo a bunch of times to make sure your vert is back where you want it to go. When you undo, the 3D cursor will not reset that's not an action that's undoable, so the 3D cursor stays there. Uh, and then last step is just select your object, uh, origin 3D cursor, or right click origin to 3D cursor, and then uh, turn back on increment snap, and you should be good.
and you should have perfectly functioning tile sets, ideally. Sweet. That's it, everybody. Catch you later.